It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's on V103. Time for the 411 and all your favorite folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This be the trending topic. Messy, messy, messy all over again. Let me explain. R&B's is having a rough couple weeks. Let's start with Chris Brown. We all watched this Rihanna posted epic, 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 epic pictures from Crop Over over there in Barbados. Basically, their edition of Carnival. Looking right, mommy. You're looking right. Some people said you put on some weight. All I want to say is thick, thick. I wouldn't pass on you. Well, Chris Brown got caught creeping in Rihanna's IG comments. Right there underneath the screenshot, right there. Some Chris Brown put the big eyeballs. I mean, Riri, you was doing it. I ain't mad at you. But lots of people came for him right after that. The Navy swarmed up in the air. Breezy didn't respond, but the domestic violence incident that happened so many years ago, still fresh in the Navy's mind. And they reminded him of how they felt about it. Moving on to another R&B singer. Oh my God. So, the... Lady Quantasia Sharpton, or at least that what we think her name is now, went and had the press conference yesterday. And lots of people had lots of things to say. Well, social media people pay a lot of attention. Her Twitter is under the name Angel Valentino. Or was it her Facebook is under? I can't, I'm getting confused. In any case, she recently took the Facebook. This is her Facebook page, Angel Valentino saying that she was having some financial difficulties. Quote, enjoying my last couple hours as a regular girl. Then it was a, I need some money. Who puts these things up and then goes for a press conference about a disease that they did not contract from an alleged sexual encounter that may or may not have happened. Then other people who have been clearly paying attention went on to say that her name is Quantes. Owens, not Quantasia Sharpton. Then it said, quote, you did it, girl. You got the world's attention. First, the twins we never met. Then August Alcina, your baby daddy and best friend. Now Herbie's from Usher. You're officially nuts, sis. So we're not sure which name she actually is or what she's really doing. Then Lil Duval, who's had a lot to say about a lot lately, put the pitch up and said, I refuse to believe Usher bleeped this. I'll believe Usher's gay before I believe he bleeped that girl. And she responded. Because Lil Duval got me bleeped up. He tried it with the lovely transgender women, but he won't try it with me. They went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I can't get into it. It'll take me too long. But all it is to get to the end result that rumor, and this is strictly rumor, Usher is ready to lawyer up. According to Sandra Rose, he's quietly planning to take legal action. Apparently, him and his legal team quietly building a defamation case against everyone involved, including lawyers and accusers. With a credible source within Usher's camp who provided documents and photographs proved to prove that Usher did not pay the former babysitter, Maya Fox Davis, the $1.1 million settlement. Nothing official out of the Usher camp. Nothing of fit, no official statements. No, a hell no, this ain't true. No, yes, I did it. Nothing. So it's just kind of... Waiting to see what happens. I don't know, people. B-103.com if you missed any parts of this long story. One big ticket show happening right now, though, on V103. 